Okay, so I've just been on the phone to Jackie's mental health doctor's office. This is secretary. And I'm annoyed I'm annoyed and I'm going to try and vent a little bit. Uh, because it is frustrating as hell. Right, this October will be the fifth anniversary, five years, since she had her big blow up and uh, tried to kill herself, etc. This coming February, the year, the February after, will be five years since she was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and and that we found out that there was a specific course of treatment for what she has and we started pursuing trying to get it. So the situation is, after nearly five years, that she has not had one single bit of therapy for her condition. She's had all kinds of different uh, drugs up the uh, wazoo, making her all kinds of different types of ill side effects, weight gain, uh, nightmares, uh, slurred speech, and all this other rubbish that goes with it. Anyway, so, all this time we've been chasing some treatment from a place called Mandela Centre in Nottingham, which deals with mental health. Now, uh, we were referred there in, like, summer of 2013. Jackie was not in a good headspace at the time. She didn't have her pills uh, on, a, on an even keel, so she was all over the place. We came away from there, and she was very frustrated, very upset. Uh, so we didn't pursue it at that time. And I've just been chasing up more information on how things are proceeding because we've apparently been trying to get a referral back since. Now, we've been talking to Jackie's psychiatrist about this since... nearly two years. It was early spring, late uh, early spring, late spring, beginning of summer, two thousand fifteen, when he said he would try and chase them up. <sighs> now he only sees Jackie, you know, sometimes only once every three months. Which is a long time. So we see him summer of 2015. And he says he's going to call the Mandela Center and see what the situation is. So we go back in October, I think it was that year, and he says, oh, oh no, I forgot to make that call. So oh, we'll try again for next time, eh? So we go back in like January of uh, like a year ago, and he's, oh, no, 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 not heard anything back. So. Okay, so we've just lost six months there, just like that. Six months. Poof. <sighs> so anyway, we uh, keep waiting to hear back from Dr. Medley. We went again, like, la last summer. He doesn't, doesn't mention it at all. We go to see him, like, last October, November, December. Still no mention of it. So, getting a little fed up with it, I actually bring it up again in our la this past meeting, which was January. We're in February now. And uh, he said, oh, here's the number. You chase it up. So I, I, I called the number, and it, it doesn't recognize the number. The number is not in service. So I'm thinking, well, that's why you're not having any luck getting through to them. You're calling the wrong number. You know, how many attempts and how many years does it take to recognize that you're calling the wrong number? Anyway, so he leaves it to me to chase up. And I go on the internet, same afternoon, find a new number, call that, get through, 
and get through to a secretary at the Mandala Center, and she says she'll check into the information and call us back. They call us back this past Friday with information saying that they discharged her in 2013, that they heard from Dr. Medley in 2015, sent him a reply, but haven't heard anything since. Now, he's been saying that he hasn't received that reply. So, in almost the blink of an eye, five years... And they say things move slowly in this line of treatment. Uh, but I've just been on the uh, the telephone to the secretary. And she says, well, you can discuss that with Dr. Medley when she sees him soon. Because of the uh, confidential, confidential, confidentiality of the situation, she can't tell me anything. But that's fine, I said. But she says, we'll be seeing him soon. And it's in this uh, context that soon is frustrating, annoying, upsetting, because soon is July, which is it's February now, it's March, April, May, June, <clears throat> July. Soon is not, you know, five minutes. Soon is not next week. Soon is five months away. So yeah, nearly five years on uh, benefits, uh, you know, trying to do what we can. I, I, I keep saying to her, I can't imagine, if you go to a politician and say to them, you know, you're getting people back to work scheme, you know, does it involve having people sitting around for five years on benefits doing, you know, near nothing whilst they wait for treatment? Five years. We were in our mid-thirties when, uh, when all of this happened, and by the time we actually get anywhere, we'll be approaching fifty, the rate we're going. Anyway, let's get posting, shall we?